Hey, welcome to this uh, radio video. Another interesting uh, feature of SDRs is uh, examining, you know, those signals that we always wonder what they are. Now, uh, this uh, I believe is a form of radar, and you can see here it's extremely widespread. So, uh, for example, on the bottom left, if I go to the bottom, bottom, bottom of the frequency range starts around 8059 kilohertz so if we actually go down and see when we actually don't hear it anymore so we start hearing it around 8056 800 and it goes all the way up to uh all the way up to about uh eight zero eight zero so this is pretty pretty wide you can see how wide this is and the buzzing and you can see here the spectrum what it looks like kind of a, an amazing signal when you look at that and when we uh, take the audio filter and make it as wide as possible we can put it in AM mode So uh, at the beginning of the uh, 8 megahertz band, this huge signal. Once again, I believe this is uh, a form of radar, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, kind of interesting to look at. So here I just put the uh, zoom to the smallest level. So this is what it takes in the uh, spectrum that I have right now. So that's another side of uh, the uh, software-defined receivers that is interesting. The visual aspect of signals, uh, it's, it's, it's quite surprising. Sometimes you, you see you know, a, a type of pattern in, in, in the uh, signal. Also the fact that you can listen to more than a very specific range. Well, you can actually see here how wide the signal is visually without having to tune across it. Uh, very, uh, you know, it's one of those very interesting things. And I think for any uh, computer enthusiast and radio enthusiast, uh, this is cool for that side of, that brings computers and it brings um, radio together uh, with uh, SDR, with software defined receivers. So it's really, really cool. So, you know, you can tune around and uh, examine the waterfall, see what exactly is in the waterfall and see if you can, you know, tune around, see the, you know, like these. This, what you see here, I've been having these regularly at intervals, very regular intervals. Uh, and they're local interference, actually, from around here. And, you know, on uh, my ICOM, I hear them. I go through them but you can't really visualize what it looks like and you don't visualize how it is very uh, you know the, the harmonics are act, like actually very very close one to the other so it's it's kind of interesting over here you see there's a little signal that looks like little beeps and this is probably morse code so let's try it out here we go and now we have a morse code signal in it a little bit if you want but uh, TAH this is the Turkish station so this is maritime station in Turkey with bursts of data and then TAH CW marker you see here there's another one if I click on it this is WLO on 8421 so you know you can listen to those and it's very very fun to do so and you can, you know, make this a little larger if you want. So, you know, it's 
So it's a fun thing to do. What makes this one even more interesting is the fact that I, you know, tune it across my network. So when I actually send a command here to uh, switch frequency range, you know, it just sends it to my the uh, Afedri uh, SDR. And so uh, you can just tune around and see what's available. So what is this? Radio teletype. The visual aspects really, really help you see signals. And uh, I believe what one of the cool aspects of seeing signals here is the fact that by seeing them, you actually have maybe less chance of missing out on a signal. Not counting the fact that sometimes there are signals that appear and disappear. And now you have a visual and you know that a certain frequency has something happening on it. So, um, really cool. Having a lot of fun. Um, you know, if I have to uh, give just a first little verdict uh, of the uh, Afedri SDR, and this is not a review yet. Uh, setup is not super complex, but you gotta understand a few things. Uh, you gotta understand, you know, a little bit how the net network works. By default, by default, the uh, the receiver gets a uh, IP address which is uh, out of range, was out of range of my router. So in order to have it working, you gotta understand how to set up network address and stuff like that. You can also have it working with USB directly, but it's you know it's kind of more fun having it on the network. You can tune around everywhere in your home, and it's, you know, with whatever computer. So I've set up HD SDR on all my laptops because now wherever I go, I can actually turn around, t tune around the, the shortwave bands. So uh, continuing having fun with the uh, SDR and uh, checking out the different signals. It's fun to, uh, to have, like I said, the visual of what's happening. So, for example, here, Voice of Greece. Here is uh, 9395 WRMI, which had True News, which I believe is not there anymore. So, uh, the visual side of, of shortwave, basically. If I had to compare to my Soft 66, it, it it does have an edge over the Soft 66 for a very simple reason: the fact that it uh, actually filters better the noise from the dis different from the different um, you know electronics that plug into it. Uh, really helps it, you know, make a amazing SDR. You can see how wide the uh, China Radio International signal is compared to other signals, which is also amazing. So, um, you know, having a lot of fun and uh, checking out how it works. It has an edge on sensitivity. I think it's a little more sensitive than the South 66 also. So it's fun to play with, and uh, we're continuing our tests and research. This is the uh, CKZN signal from the CBC in St. John's, Newfoundland. Hope you're enjoying this series of videos while I'm testing out the uh, AFEDRI, a Federi SDR receiver, uh, shortwave software-defined radio. Mm -hmm. 